Just 40 minutes north of Dublin lies one of the most picturesque and historical 18th century villages in all of Ireland, nestled in the heart of the Boyne Valley. It is uniquely situated on the intersection of the N2 Dublin Derry and N52 Drogheda and Avon roads, so is often used as easy access to nearby towns, cities, beaches and other attractions. However, for the discerning visitor, let's take a look at all that Slane has to offer as a destination. Welcome to Slane! To start off with is in the heart of the Boyne Valley and that is recognised in Ireland as being one of the most historic regions country. On our doorstep we have um, a World Heritage Site, uh, the monuments of Newgrange now the Dow, dating from the Stone Age. Um, right on the, uh, the top of the hill behind the village is the Hill of Slain, which is a, a very historic place itself. Uh, this legend tells us is where St. Patrick, our patron saint, lit the very first Paschal fire at, at Easter time. It is a very good example of an 18th century estate village. Um, Slane Castle is the big house, if you like, in the area, and much of the land in and around Slane was owned, um, some of it still is, but uh, it, certainly in the 18th century it was owned and run by the, uh, the castle. Um, many of the people in the village were workers um, on the estate, or there were, there were tenant farmers. Um, it was very carefully laid out in the late 18th century, um, it is a crossroads and in the middle of the crossroads we have um, what in fact is an, an octagon shape created. It's known locally as the square, just to confuse things. Um, and facing onto this space there are four almost identical, uh, beautifully proportioned Georgian houses. Um, now there is a legend, it is a legend, uh, it's, uh, the, the suggestion is that each of the four houses was occupied by one of the daughters of the Marquess of Cunningham who lived in Slane Castle. Um, it's a nice story, but I think it is only a story. But many of the other buildings around the, the village, um, they are from the late 18th century. Down by the river, for example, we have a very important industrial complex, a mill from, again, from the, the mid 18th century. And at the time when it was built, it was the biggest corn mill in Ireland or in Britain. As well as its historical past, Slane has produced a wealth of artistic talent being home to the painter and sculptor John Cassidy and the publisher and poet John Boyle O'Reilly. But probably the most recognised local in recent times is renowned poet Francis Ledwich. The Francis Ledwich Museum is the birthplace of World War I poet Francis Ledwich. Uh, he was born there in 1887. It's the perfect example of farm labourer's cottage. His poems are beautiful. He writes about nature. Of course, there are love poems to Ellie Vahey. There's over 30 poems he wrote to Ellie. He wrote a bit about the war, but it's very subtle. And every time he writes, he always remembering home. In the garden then, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's so relaxing, so tranquil. You can sit there, read your book, have a picnic, has also become a hub for arts and crafts within the local vicinity with the establishment of the Arty Quarter in the heart of the village. It's a collective of 10 people. It's a showcase really for craft people. All local people, all wonderful crafts, everything handmade by us. We create lots of lovely pottery. Uh, We've got a few different textiles, paper craft, uh, we've got wood turner, uh, beautiful candles, and then we've got a be free clothing children's wear. The sloping grounds of Slane Castle form a natural amphitheatre which has ensured many world-class acts have played concerts here for nearly every year since 1981. Um, I was only a kid when uh, the first concert happened, but um, 
memories of uh, walking through the village to see, you know, just to see all the people that gathered to see the Rolling Stones in 1982. Uh, you know, you'll, I'll never forget that as a kid. For an enjoyable day out in Slane, there's a multitude of attractions to choose from. Drive a tank or shoot a few rounds at the Irish Military War Museum. Find out about World War I poet at the Francis Ledwidge Museum or experience ancient burial tombs at Bruna Boigne Visitor Centre. For the more adventurous out there, why not try your hand at kayaking on the River Boyne or tree climbing at Rock Farm? Take an electric bike ride and explore the grounds of Slane Castle. For a more relaxing time, enjoy a stroll at the ramparts along the riverside or fishing from the banks. There's accommodation to suit all budgets in, the, uh, in and around the village in Slane, uh, from a campsite, um, hostel style accommodation, right the way through to five-star hotel accommodation. For further information on accommodation, places to eat, places to see or things to do, call in and chat to our friendly staff at The Hub, situated on the main street, and they will be delighted to help you with any of your queries. As you can see, there is much more to Slane than meets the eye. Come on, experience Slane.